How do you show a connection between two characters without saying a word? Today, we're going to break down a scene from Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy's HBO series, Westworld. To illustrate how camera placement can connect or disconnect two characters within a scene. How? The over-the-shoulder shot. Over-the-shoulder, or OTS shots, are one of the first things you learn about when becoming a filmmaker. An OTS shot will connect your characters, whereas a single shot will disconnect your characters. We're going to use Studio Binder's production software to break down this scene from Westworld. Before we start, remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay in the know. As we begin with our example, we're going to show you how using an OTS shot in your scene will connect your characters. In this scene, the creator of the park, Dr. Robert Ford, is set to have a meeting with the head of quality assurance, Teresa Cullen. We're simply concerned about the extent of the changes you're making. We want to protect the legacy. My legacy? Soon into the scene, we land at this shot an over-the-shoulder medium close-up. You don't like this place very much, do you? We cut to Teresa, who is matched with an OTS MCU. Jonah Nolan, as he's known by the filmmaking community, visually introduces the waiter at the beginning of this scene. This character initially has no lines, but his presence is very much intentional. A few more line exchanges in these shots when Nolan cuts to a wide OTS shot obscured by a support column. The obscuring column suggests that this is a private conversation. I came here once as a child with my parents. I think we even sat at this table. Or maybe, maybe that one. When you place your camera over the shoulder of an actor, you create a subconscious connection within the mind of the viewer that says these two characters are on the same page. Ford and Teresa are having a meeting, but the scene doesn't end here. Number two, disconnect your characters. Just as having a visual presence will create an emotional connection, any visual absence within your frame will create an emotional disconnection within the mind of the viewer. Jonah Nolan knows he can cut to a single anytime he likes, but instead he decides to do something a little more elegant. And he does it after this line. When I started working here, I realized this place wasn't something I would enjoy. Ah. Nolan places his camera on a dolly and uses a push-in. In the beginning, I imagined things would be perfectly balanced. Even had a bet with my partner, Arnold, to that effect. We made a hundred hopeful storylines. Of course, almost no one took us up on them. I lost the bet. Arnold always held a somewhat dim view of people. He preferred the hosts. He begged me not to let you people in. The money men. The characters cease to be connected. They are no longer on the same page. We are no longer in an OTS MCU, but rather a single close-up. Then Nolan brings back our waiter. It's not a business venture, not a theme park, but an entire world. And the characters are now connected, not by one another, but by the visual presence of the waiter until this happens. Teresa is completely isolated, signaled by the close-up framing. When we cut back to Ford, the waiter is still in frame, because Ford and the hosts have a connection. But Teresa does not. So I will ask you nicely, please. Don't get in my way. 
This moment in the script is establishing to the viewer just how alone Teresa really is in Westworld. Let's recap. If your script calls for you to connect your characters, use over-the-shoulder shots. If you want to disconnect your characters, use single shots to signal isolation or an imbalance between the characters. You can do this gradually with camera movement or change instantly within the cut. What are your favorite examples of over-the-shoulder framing? Did the filmmakers use it to signal a connection? Did they switch to a single? Tell us in the comments. Check the description to sign up for Studio Binder. It's free to get started. Subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon for updates and follow us on Instagram. Bring yourself back online. Now, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality?